What is buzzing my cousins? Today we are at the little outdoor archery range. I said I was gonna get into archery this year and I am, so check it out. Back here we got the nice Samic Sage bow or now it's called the Galaxy Sage bow. Got some nice arrows here and I got some targets back here too. Thankfully the, uh, the hay bales out here got targets on them so don't need to waste my targets. Ideally, later on in the summer, I want to go bow hunting. I don't know for what yet. I was thinking turkeys, but someone told me turkey hunting is kind of hard. And I've seen a lot of turkeys running around in the city, but I've never been walking in the woods and seen a turkey, like a wild, wild turkey. So it might be a little difficult to find. Anyway, I'm glad that I gave my money to a smaller, independent bow shop instead of this huge chain store makes me feel a little better about where I'm putting my money. Now I was between two bows. I wanted the Black Hunter Takedown Bow or the Sam Sage Bow because those were the two bows I was reading about that are in that $100, $150 range that are good for beginners. I got a 30 pound draw weight. Now I could probably do more. I thought 30 would be good but after shooting it for an hour I really wasn't super tired so I could probably do a heavier weight, but I think 30 is a good place to start. It's not too light, it's not too heavy, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to get anything that's going to, you know, just kill me after an hour of shooting. I was going to get that Black Hunter takedown bow on Amazon, but then I thought it would be a little better to actually talk to some people, get some pointers while I'm buying the bow, instead of just buying the bow and trying to assemble it myself and deal with all that, you know? Normally I like doing that, I like just learning about it on my own, but I think with archery, it is something that, you know, it's a dangerous sport, right? You know, you could hurt yourself, you could hurt somebody else. I mean, there's a lot that could go wrong. So I wanted to get help with that, put my pride aside for a little bit, and here we are. Feeling a little confident now. There's still a lot I need to learn, but got the basics. I'm gonna learn more of the basics, and we're gonna go from there. So come with me, and let's shoot this bow. It's cold out today, man. It's like 24 degrees, it's windy, but Here's this little archery range right off this road. Don't like that. Don't like all the cars driving by and the train yard over there, but whatever. We're gonna shoot some targets. First, we gotta string up this bow. All right, we got it. It's good to go. Okay, got this cool bear glove. Now I'm no pro, so I'm at the 15 yard line. Let's see where I hit the target. Okay, we're in the blue, it's not bad. Shoot the last five arrows and then I gotta get out of here, so. how I did yeah, that's not bad 15 yards man pretty close to the bullseye there pretty satisfied with that I got to take off though I'm short on time so come back later another day but that's archery so far I think uh, it's not the most difficult thing at 15 yards we'll see how I do at 30 yards that might be a little more tricky a lot more to take into consideration when shooting 
especially out in the wild when your target might be moving. You know, I just like target shooting. I always figured I'd like archery a lot, and I do. I think it's really fun, honestly. It's a good way to spend time, too. You know, I love the outdoors. This is just another way to kind of stay in tune with our primitive past. I mean, gun, guns are cool, and hunting with guns is fun, but I think bow hunting, just, you know, you're a little more aware, a little more present. Here it is. Beautiful bow. Very cool. Love the handle. I love the stain on the wood, the, the design. It's great. Archery is awesome. Thanks for coming with me on this short little adventure today. Another learning experience. Anyway, stay tuned for more archery videos. Thanks. Hey, thanks for liking, and hey, maybe you could subscribe too. It helps my channel grow, helps get my numbers up, helps me stay in the algorithm, and it just makes a huge difference. The people that are liking and subscribing, the people that have been supporting and leaving comments, you know, you rock. You're awesome, and thanks. It is windy out, planes going by, and by an airport, and so far out of the three archery ranges I've been to, this is the worst. Come with me. I wasn't planning on going to another place to shoot today, and I don't know, you're probably gonna hear it in the video, but it's windy, too windy, and the targets are just these hay bales here, and I have some targets I bought for my crossbow, so I stuck them in here with some sticks, as you can see, but the wind keeps blowing the target off of the hay bale. They got these metal straps that hold the hay bale together. Actually, it's more of a tough plastic, kind of like a, uh, a zip tie, large zip ties. I'm trying to shoot them far away. I'm trying to slowly increase my distance as I practice and my arrow went right into the side, into the zip tie, and it cracked it so it's just kink. I'll show you, dude, these fucking airplanes. You see that? Let's get in the sunlight. Yeah, you can see it. It's all cracked up underneath the head. Even the head got like smashed. Bow's right there, you know, a couple feet from the table. We're gonna hit this target right here. upwards trajectory in the grouping. I've noticed the closer I am to the target, the easier it is to get the arrows close to the bullseye. I don't know what that's about, but again, we got the Galaxy Sage takedown bow. It's a beautiful bow. It's nice. I really like it. Our, uh, what is that? 600? 600 grain, I think is what they call it for the arrows. Ladies and gentlemen, these two, same spot. This guy, close to the red. This guy too. It is a small target. It's not much bigger. It's about four of my hand. All right, same deal. I'm at the table, two here. I think it's about 25, 30 yards. Not bad for a windy day outside. I got two on the target. If this were a large animal, I would have hit it. Okay. Still 
just so windy. There's my arrows in my backpack. I've yet to get a quiver. That was fun though. It's a good time, good time shooting even though the conditions were not ideal. It's still fun. It's still fun to practice. See myself getting better. Anyway, it's been a good day. It's been an interesting day. It's been fun. Still learning. I'm gonna try to look up how to have better technique when I'm shooting. Gotta work on my form a little bit. And I do have a lot of layers on, so that kind of affects how I position my arms a little bit. A little bit of tension when I, you know, pull the string back and I keep my arm kind of perpendicular. But yeah, okay, I gotta get in my car and freeze it. Cruising home. That's it. Don't have a whole lot else to say. Hopefully I can get out and practice some more. Hopefully this coming week isn't cold. Alright. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. See you on the next one. Peace.